In this particular video, we are going to see how to use the custom code element, which is again a very good uh, and very important feature. And uh, with this, what you can do is you can put any kind of custom code that you can take from, you know, any script from any other external software that you might want to use on your page. And with the help of this particular element, you can put it on your page. All right. So let's suppose, let me show you with a very uh, good use case. Let's say I want to. Um, Okay, let me let me duplicate this particular section. All right. And uh, uh, let's say, let's say I don't want this, let me delete it. Right, let me delete this. And over here, let's say I say put your comments here, just just an just an example. Okay. All right. And uh, let me delete this as well. Now over here, what I need to do is I need to use the custom code element. All right. And let's say you want to have the custom codes, for example, Facebook custom code, Facebook uh, comment plugin to be added over here. Right. So uh, what you can do is you can go to Google, click on Facebook comment plugin. You will click on this link. All right. And uh, I will need the page URL. So let me open the page URL. Let me copy the page URL. So it will ask you, where do you want the comment plugin to appear? You can put the page URL over here, whatever is your page URL and the width, the pixel width, let's say we make it 700. All right. And uh, number of posts, let's say 10 that how many comments we want to show it over there. And let me click on get code. All right. Now have a look at this. It will show me that include the JavaScript on your page once, ideally right after the opening uh, opening body tag and place this code wherever you want the plugin to appear. So I'm going to pick this code and I'm going to add it, double click, add it over here and click on save. Right. But at the same time, they have also asked me, I mean, you know, Facebook as a company has also asked me to put this code in the page somewhere. So I'm also going to do that. But if you just want to use the custom code element, whatever script you have from anywhere, you can just use it in the custom code settings and you can just put it just in case you want to see the full, uh, you know, uh, thing with respect to the uh, Facebook comment. So I will have to put this code in the body of my page right over here. Let me click on publish. Let me also publish it right now. So you can see that, you know, we don't have this right now, but now it has appeared, right? So now when once the page is fully published, this thing has fully appeared. And then what I can do is I can, I can play around with the settings. Let's say, you know, I can, uh, where is this? Let's say I want to change it to, let's say, um, 1200, click on save, publish. Let me refresh. Right. So you can see that this has appeared fully and now your users, what they can do is they can come to this page. Let's suppose this is, I'm already logged in to my Facebook. So basically it will connect with your Facebook ID, which is logged into some other particular, you know, your particular Facebook account. And let's say if I do a comment over here, Hey, nice content. So this, this thing is going to appear right over here, right? This will become a Facebook comment plugin. So with the help of the custom code element, you can put any kind of script on any kind of page and uh, on any page of yours. And uh, basically you can do some cool things. For example, putting the Facebook comment plugin and you know, some, some more things, maybe you want to put some, uh, order responder form code, uh, you know, which is, which is, uh, something different and any kind of script that you want to have, you know, some, some different kind of design that you just want to import with the help of the code or anything. So you can do it with the help of the custom code particular feature. All right. So yeah, pretty useful feature and yeah, uh, enjoy it. All right. Uh, see you. Bye-bye.